Well, hello there folks and welcome back to The Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Here we are again, another new video, another brand new video. This one's going to be a little bit different, folks. Round about this time last year, I uh, put out a video for five recommendations for Christmas, so five best whiskies for Christmas. That time's come around. I've been getting emails recently asking me, Alan, I want to start a collection. Christmas is coming up, what should I have on my shelf? Which whiskies would you recommend? So I thought I'll put out this video today, guys. I see I did five last year. I'm looking at these whiskies at the minute, and I think I'm up round about maybe 15 to 20 at the minute. So I'm going to try and whiz through this as quick as I can. The criteria on this one is they're all they're all affordable. They're all available. There's nothing that you have to chase down. There's nothing you need to look for in the secondary market. And there's nothing you need to queue up for outside shops waiting for them to be released. Everyone is pretty much available to get here. Uh, and that, that's where we're going to start. We're going to just dive in. We're going to whiz through them. I will try and put some cards above. Say I have reviewed most of them, if not all of them. Um, so if you want to go back and check any of these out. So I won't go into them in too much detail. If you want to go back and watch the video, you can certainly check out these in a wee bit more detail. So without any further ado, guys, I'm just going to crack in with the first one. This is going in nice and light, nice and easy, nice and happy to pick up, happy to have on the shelf. I'm picking up the Loch Lomond 12. Look at that bad boy. Beautiful, big, tall bottle, green bottle. Uh, 12 year old age statement. 46% ABV, which is great. It's non chill filtered, which is great. And it's, I believe there's a little bit of colour in this, but hopefully we might see this one day fully non coloured, which is. Wow, wishful thinking going on in there. But other than that, guys, it doesn't take anything away from this whiskey. This is an absolutely fantastic whiskey. It's beautifully balanced. It's it's fruity. It's peaches. It's pears. It's sweet vanilla. There's a little hint of smoke kicking around in there as well. You need to search around for that little bit of smoke. But absolutely, really, really wonderful whiskey. You can pick this up round about the 35 to £40 pound bracket. Uh, it occasionally comes up an offer so if you ever see it on an offer it's definitely one to snatch up so that's the first one on the list guys the Loch Lomond 12 ok folks what's up next we're heading we're sticking on the Highlands so this is a nice Highland single malt whiskey in the form of the Glen Cadham 10 this might be no surprise I'm drinking this one but I've been drinking it all summer I can pick this up for under £35 a bottle it's 46% ABV, it's non-chill filtered, it's no added colour. How do we know that? Because it says it on the bottle. Don't know if you can pick that up. Let's see if that's focused. Yep, that's there on the bottle. Look at that beautiful, beautiful light straw colour. Uh, they're all saying, Alan, it's a summer whiskey, that. Yes, it's probably a trying to drink more of it through the summer. This whiskey, I'm happy. I'm happy to drink this at any time because it's it's so fruity. It's probably one of my favourite sweet fruity. It's it's grassy, it's light, it's bright, it's it's fresh, it's clean, it's it's just wonderful. Those those peaches, those apricots, those pears, those apples, such such a fruity, fruity dram. This deserves to be on any list, folks, and then I, I contemplated trying to cut a few of these out, but some of them, it's just no point in cutting them. It's so readily available, it's so easy to get a hold of, and it's probably one of the best £35 you'll ever spend on a bottle of whiskey. So, this has to be on the list. So, moving on. Okay, folks, what's number three on the list? Well, this is another special one. This is a Diageo one. We're going a little bit coastal with this. This is the Klein Lease 14. Absolutely wonderful. Yes, it's Diageo, so yeah, there's a bit of colour in there. Yes, there's a little bit of chill filtration in there, but the great thing from this, Diageo's popped this out at 46% ABV, and they've kept it on a 14-year-old age statement. So we can only be thankful for that, folks. But yeah, this is another one of the beautiful, beautiful distilleries up there. See, it's, it's a coastal highland. It's giving you a little bit of saltiness it's giving you that sea breeze it's giving you those coastal influences it's waxy it's a beautiful beautiful fruity floral fragrant on the nose it's one of one of the nicest noses that i think i've i've, I've noticed this year it's so floral fragrant it's almost flower basket it's almost pot puree but then once you get into the palate it doesn't disappoint 
got that beautiful waxy mouthfeel that Klein Leash is famous for. Uh, but again, it's fruity throughout. That little bit of smoke in there as well, that little bit of sea and that little bit of coastal. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful stuff. This deserves to be on everybody's shelf, guys. You can pick this up for around about the 40 to 45 pounds mark. It is one of those that occasionally pops up on offer. If you do see offer, it's always worth snapping when we're up. This is how I picked this one up. I actually picked a couple of these up on offer. So, yeah, non wonderful, wonderful, wonderful whiskey. Thoroughly deserves to be on anybody's cabinet and anybody's shelves. If you've not tried Cleanly's 14, whiskey friend recommendation, get all over that Cleanly's 14. So, what's up next? So we're heading to the most westerly point of the Scottish mainland. For all you peat lovers, it's been hanging on patiently. Here it comes. There's a little bit of peat coming in here. The next couple of whiskies, guys, are heading down that kind of peaty road. So, the most westerly point in the Scottish mainland. For all you geeks out there, you'll know that it's Ardnamurkin. This is the Ardnamurkin batch. This is batch 5, 07-21-05. I was thoroughly impressed with it. It was my first touch on Ardnamurkin. Big props to the Ardnamurkin distillery. They've been voted the best new distillery of 2021 on the Online Scotch Whiskey Awards. I was very humbled. I was very chuffed to play a small, tiny part in that. Um, so big props to them. Yeah, the whiskey, it's, it's peated. It's smoky. That sweet smoke. The smoke is sweet. It's fruity. It's vanilla. It's caramelled. As you get into the palate, it's much, much more smoky on the palate. See, on the nose, there's that wee bit of barbecued sauce in there as well. So it's real, real sweet sauce, sweet barbecue, sweet vanilla, sweet caramel. Into the palate, it becomes more smoke. The smoke makes itself more aware. It's more ashy, it's more peaty, it's more smoky. And then the fruit comes in. So the balance is great in it. It's fruity. And then with those fruits, it's red berry fruit, it's lots of berry fruit, salted caramel on the palate, it's vanilla, it's toffeed, it's real, real nice going on. It goes into a really nice milk chocolate. There's white chocolate on the nose, but it turns into kind of milk chocolate on the palate, and there's a little bit of nutty in there as well, so some nuts come in. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful whiskey. Thoroughly deserves to be on this list. What we got next? So number five on the list, we're heading to the peatiest one so far, the smokiest one so far, and also the spiciest one so far. We're heading to the Isle of Mull, so we're heading on to the Tobermory Distillery. Uh, we're doing a Lechig, so we've got a Lechig 10. Absolutely fantastic whiskey, this one. This is where it gets peaty, smoky. See, it's the spiciest one so far. Lots of spice going on in this. Lots of smoke, lots of peat. Little bit medicinal notes coming in now. It's got a little bit earthy. Uh, it still has that nice sweetness, but it's not as sweet as any of the others. It's still medicinal, it's earthy. Little bit of wet putty note going on in this one, and it's salty, so it's got a real nice salty character as well. So this this one is absolutely wonderful. It's, I have battled this against the Ardbeg 10. Some people say this gives the Ardbeg 10 a run for its money. So at thirty-eight pounds a bottle, they're priced very much the same, but yeah, absolutely wonderful stuff. That's number five, Tobamori Lechig Ten. Moving on. Okay, folks, we're leaving the Highlands. Where are we heading now? We're heading over to the Isle of Arran. I've got three fantastic, beautiful Arran bottles to bring to you now. Without any further ado, this one needs no introduction because this has just recently sweeped the awards. At the Online Scotch Whiskey Awards, the Oswiz, this won Best Entry Level Whiskey, the 10 year old Aaron, and it also won the Best Single Malt Whiskey. So, again, guys, this needs no introduction, but this should be on everyone's bar. It's 10 years old, it's 46% ABV, it's non chill filtered, it's natural colour, it ticks all the boxes. So, big thanks as well to James McTaggart, the master blender at uh, Aaron. So putting out some fantastic stuff. As I see, I've got three beautiful bottles here. The Aaron 10. So this one is is very, very, it's rich, it's honeyed, it's vanilla, it's toffee, it's malty. Has that little bit of tropical fruit in there, a little bit of coconut character going on there. It's lots of fresh fruit, it's lots of orchard fruit, and it's a little bit nutty. So it's absolutely wonderful. Coming in around about under £35 a bottle. It's easy to get a hold of it's everywhere i know i'm saying it's easy to get a hold of guys this is this is predominantly aimed at the guys in the uk i'm not too sure what it's like in the states and different global markets i'm not sure whether it's europe 
I'm pretty sure a lot of them are readily available in most areas. If it's not available, guys, just dive in and let me know in the comments. Um, but I'm pretty sure, certainly here in the UK, they're pretty much easy to get hold of. So moving on to the second, Darren. So we've got another one. We've got the Bothy. This is much more aromatic. This is, and we're diving up now into, so this is a quarter cask. So we're diving up into the cast strength whiskies as well. So this, again, it's non-chill filtered, it's natural colour, but this is 56.2% ABV. Real, real nice. Again, this is fruity, tropical, tropical fruits, a bit more pineapple, coconut going on in this one. Uh, it's spicy, it's spiced vanilla. It's lots of apples, lots of pears. Real, real nice, and it's just got that extra wee bit of kick. So if you want to take your next step in your journey, and head into some cast strength whiskies. This will set you back around about £55 a bottle. Again, if you can pick up an offer, guys, they usually kick around on an offer from time to time. Just look out for this one. So this is the Aaron Bothy. And then just moving on, the last one of the Aarons. Whiz through these quite quickly. Fantastic, this one. This is the Bodega. This is the Sherry Cask. Again, it's 55.8 ABV. Non-chill filter, natural colour, all the usual. But this is complex, this is luxurious. This is dark chocolate, it's it's nutty, it's spicy, it's ginger, it's figs, it's raisins, all those typical sherry notes that you would expect. Dark fruits, dried fruits, it's all in there. It's nice and complex. So big, big props and big thanks to all the guys at Aaron. Okay, folks, let's leave it Aaron now. We're heading over to, where are we going to go next? Wow, this is so exciting. We're heading over to Campbelltown. So, Campbelltown on this list, it wouldn't be the same if I didn't have this one on. I, I missed it off last year and I kicked myself for leaving it off. But this is probably one of my favourite go-to whiskies of all time. This is the beautiful Kilkerran 12. 46%, non-chill filtered, natural colour. What can you say about this one, guys? This is this is round about the £40 mark, anywhere from 35 to 45 depending on where it is. Beautiful, beautiful, typical, typical Campbelltown. I could have lots and lots of bottles on this list. I'm just going to whiz through a cup. This one's beautiful. This is, it's it's smoky, it's it's citrus, it's lemon, it's orange, it's nutty, it's, it's vanilla, it's toffee, it's honeyed, it's it's outdoors it's funky it's got that campbelltown funk absolutely wonderful and it's beautifully presented it's just moved currently to the new bottle so it's gone into the little dumpy springbank bottle so yeah big props to kilcairn 12. campbelltown i can batter through if a few of the there's some of the springbanks i'd love to put on the list list but the the criteria was they had to be really kind of available and ready to, easy to pick up the Springbank ones are now a wee bit tough. If you manage to pick up the 10, the 12, the 15, the 18, any of those Springbanks, any of these deserve to be on the list as well, guys. But I left them off because they're a little bit more tougher to get a hold of. The one that I am going to add to the list is up here above me, which is the beautiful Victoriana. Covered itself in glory in the, I say in the Oswiz as well. So this is a beautiful, beautiful whiskey. I picked this up on offer recently for £55. Again, this is cast strength. Victoriana, Glen Scotia, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Natural colour, non-chill filtered, and I think this is 54.2% ABV. But I'm really looking forward to cracking this. This is the third batch of this that I've had now, so I'm really looking forward to getting into this one. But yeah, Glen Scotia. You can whiz through a lot of the Glen Scotias. The Glen Scotia 15 could make the list. The Glen Scotia 18 could make the list. But Glen Scotia are really, really coming up in the world at the minute. And I'm spending a lot of time on Glen Scotia, buying Glen Scotia bottles. I've recently picked up the, the 11 special release, the Sherry Casks, Sherry Double Cask. I've just recently picked up the Seasonal 12, so there's lots and lots and lots of bottles out there. These ones for Christmas, guys, I think the, the, the special release uh, Glen Scotias are hitting that kind of £75 bracket. So for that special gift, that special man in your life, or that special lady in your life, that would be a more a kind of special, special present. Um, but all of these other ones are so easy to get a hold of. Okay, folks, where do you go after Campbelltown after that? Let's head over to Speyside. So Speyside's been a funny one for me this year. It's been all about Glen Allerky for me this year. So the, the one I'm going to put up today for a Christmas gift I'd love to get would be the Glen Allerky 12. But that could easily have been, look at the colour of that, 46%. 
natural colour, non-chill filtered. Well done, Billy Walker and the team. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, dark, rich sherry. If you're a sherry lover, then Glenallick is the place to head for, folks. I've been there all season. I've bought lots of Glenallickies. If you're lucky enough to pick up the back six, 10-year-old cash strength, folks, that's 57.8%, but it's becoming one of those tougher ones to get. The 15's a little bit easy to get, 46%. That's getting much, much darker as well. Non-chill filtered and natural colour. There's a couple of things I've dabbled with this year, maybe on Speyside, a little bit of Tam Do, a little bit of Tomatin, a little bit of Ben Romack. If if I'm missing some Speyside whiskies on that should be on this list, guys, dive into the comments and let me know down below. What have I missed? In fact, if I've missed any from any of the regions, dive in and let me know, guys. I'm sure I've missed a few, but I've got a big list here at the minute, so... Yeah, so that's pretty much for Speyside. Uh, yeah, Glenallachie 12. Around about the £40 a bottle. So it's, it's bang on the price point. Fantastic gift. I will thoroughly, thoroughly look forward to getting one of these for Christmas. So we're heading from Speyside over to Isla. Isla, the, the peat heads. Here we go. I've got a few peaty whiskies coming up. I'm going to start with one which maybe not so peaty to start with. Funny head, I've got a couple from Brook Laddie. So I've got the Classic Laddie and I have the Port Charlotte 10. Two fantastic whiskies that I've picked up recently on offer. Both at 50% ABV, both very, very different. So with that Classic Laddie, it's, it's rich, it's sweet, it's creamy. It's got a little hint of smoke in there. It's spice, it's cinnamon, a little bit of ginger. It's salty, but it's mainly stone fruit. It's a really nice fruity element to it. It's nice and fruity, those peaches, real, real nice, non-chill filtered, natural colour, perfect presentation. Port Charlotte's a different animal altogether, this is a beast of a whiskey. This is 50% also ABV, non-chill filtered, natural colour, all those usual things. But this one's different, this is heavily peated, this is smoky, it's challenging, it's, it's peaty, it's maritime, it's tangy. It's, it's rich, it's full flavoured, it's iodine, it's TCP, it's seaweed. It's all those those things that you'd come to expect for your heavily peated smoky whiskies. That carbolic soap's in there, it's salty and it's creamy. Two wonderful, wonderful whiskies. Port Charlotte's a wee bit more challenging. Both at 50% ABV, they drink so different as well. But if you don't want to get heavily smoky into that, the Classic Laddies one... If you just want a smoke monster, then you'd, you'd hit the Port Charlotte. Uh, two fantastic challenging whiskies. So, we're not leaving Isla yet, but I'm going to head over to... Let's do Booner. So, I'm going to do the same again. I've got two Booners. I've got the... Let's have a look. Wouldn't be a list without the Booner having 12. Got the Booner 12 here. I'll come to that in a second. Then we have the, the Moine. So two fancy bottles look almost identical, just different colours. So I've got the 12 and I've got the Moine. So again, this is this is beautiful hint of smoke in here. Sometimes I get the smoke, sometimes I don't get the smoke. It's more about the, the chocolate, the fruit, the berries. Really, really nice. This is this is like a go-to whiskey. You can pick this up. Worst case scenario, maybe £40. Best case scenario, £30. It has been on £30 a couple of times this year. The Buna Habin Moin, which is, I originally got this around the £50 mark, but it's now come down in price. I think you can pick this up again on offer. £30 to £35. So different, totally different Bunas. But yeah, both both 46.3% ABV, both non-chill filtered and both natural colour, both in the beautiful black Buna bottles. But this is your, this is your smoky one. This is your Moin... This is your beautiful, sweet, chocolatey, red fruit, nuttiness. This is your smoke. You're heavily, why would they say heavily? Yeah, well, it's, it's a lot of peat in it, a lot of smoke. Very, very smoky. Uh, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Fantastic. So two Bunas, both again in budget. Wow, look at all this whiskey. I think I've got one more left today, guys. So let's head over. It wouldn't be the same as I love without doing an Ardbeg. Again, Ardbeg 10. Love it, fantastic. I think I picked this up on offer as well, around about the thirty-eight pound mark. Uh, it's a steal at thirty-eight. 
it's again it's 46 percent abv non-chill filter natural color again if you like your smoky smoky whiskies then you're add big 10 this is another one that should pretty much be on everybody's shelves the dig the Lashig 10 gives it a wee run for its money in my opinion so both two fantastic both have made this list um but yeah again sea spray this is tarry road tar so it's a different type of peat this is road tar wow so smoky so intense bonfire smoke campfire smoke bonfire on a beach smoke barbecued meats all that kind of stuff is all coming into this ad big 10 too many bottles i can't even remember how many i've done i might count this up and put it on the thumbnail so if you've enjoyed the video guys thank you very much if you're looking forward to christmas i hope this helps you make some choices if you're looking to get gifted some whiskies just get those hints out there if you're looking to gift some fantastic whiskies i think you could gift all of these and nobody would have a problem with it i think they're just next level whiskies they get you away from supermarket whiskies your highland park 12s your old pulte 12s your glen fiddox your glen Levitts. These are probably what I would class as more kind of connoisseurs whiskies, next level whiskies, beautifully presented whiskies, you know, non chill filtered, natural colour. The majority of them, I think, are natural colour, non chill filtered, and I think they're pretty much all over, yeah, they're all over 46% ABV. So, absolutely fantastic. I've loved this one. Until the next one, guys, don't forget to give me the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, guys. Uh, I'm going to pop some interesting links all throughout the video, so hopefully you've picked up some of them. Feel free and check out. I've done them all in more detail. Until the next one, I'm Alan. I'm the Whiskey Friend. And as always, the pleasure is in the sharing. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Cheers now. Bit of Kill Karen 12 in here. Fantastic. See you again, guys.